over there. <laughs> so we celebrated National Cuban Sandwich Day recently and Rocky is introducing us to her favorite local spot where you can enjoy the flavors of Cuba all year round. So when I moved to Las Vegas back in 2019, I was looking for some good, authentic Cuban food and I found Zach in Cubanidad and he's been blessing me ever since. So sure. we've been celebrating the Cuban sandwich recently. Exactly. What is that? What is the culture behind it? So the culture behind Cuban sandwiches, you have a typical Miami style Cuban sandwich and mm -hmm. a Tampa style called Ebor. Okay. And here we go. The chef is going to actually show you how to assemble each of these sandwiches. Oh. So here so we go. I can impress everybody with yeah, my culture. Yeah, definitely. So come my... on over. So you see what Chef is doing. He has our meat there on the bottom. He's okay. topping it with the Wait, mustard chef, sauce. Chef, I thought you were going to let me cook oh, okay. a little well, bit. Yeah, oh, you're sure? Come on now. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, so to Chef has put the meat on the bottom. Now okay. he's helping Roki put the bread on top. Okay. There's a mustard sauce. Then we're also going to put it right here on the grill. Black put grill. He's going to put a little garlic butter on top okay. Okay. to level off that flavor. sandwich. Yeah. Exactly. Spice it up a little bit. Perfect, yep. Yeah. There we go, close down. And as you'll see, most Cuban sandwiches are done pressed, which is what we do it here for all our sandwiches. I love this. Okay, now while that's cooking, let's talk about the dish itself because yeah. I see plantains on the side and you know that exactly. is my favorite. <laughs> Mine too. So most these are plantain chips that go with all of our sandwiches. Um, chef is uh, adding a mojo sauce. Most authentic Cubans, they'll use those that mojo sauce oh to dip goodness. their plantain chips. You guys go ahead and check it out. Listen, I'm sorry, I couldn't help uh -huh. myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so good. Okay, so tell us about more about Cubani Dad. Right, so we initially opened in uh, 2019. We have a location in Fort Apache mm -hmm. uh, in our Sumlin area. And when we opened over there, we got a lot of influx of uh, Hispanic yeah. people coming who lived in Henderson. So we thought, hey, if this location opened, uh, why not? You know, why, why not come not? over here and service the okay. people over here? So, and look, you got, a, you got some guests over here eating. We're trying. We opened up last week on Monday. Yeah. Um, so we've had one week of soft opening, so hopefully as more people hear about it, the word gets out. And, and this is the bigger location. Correct. This location is uh, about double the size of the one on Fort Apache. All right. Double the size. Yep. Double the food. There we go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely. I love it. Okay. So Kubani, Kubani Dai, Cuban sandwiches. What are some other authentic dishes that we so, can get Some here? authentic dishes that the chef has here is our ropa vieja. Also with our arsenal, we have a lechon with the mortals, which is our Cuban style rice, which comes with black beans and also Ooh. roasted pork. Um, Chef also has a fried I alligator. That, by the way. Oh, okay. I did that. Okay. <laughs> um, Kubi, Kubani that official. Definitely. <laughs> mm -hmm. so, Those uh, other dishes? Yes, yeah, Chef also has a, a, a fried alligator that is excellent. Oh. And he has um, several other, obviously, plantains. You know, you can't have an authentic Cuban restaurant without plantains. Speaking of plantains, Zach, uh, speaking of plantains, um, plant I, plant. I, I need one container. For sure. I need this container. Full, full of fried plantains. I got you. That's no problem. You got me? We got you. All right. Okay, Kubani that here in Henderson. You Thanks guys, this so is so good. This food is authentic. Thank you, Chef. I'll, uh, I'll take this too. Okay. Take this too. <laughs> I'll send it back to you guys. Thank you.